here with Sister Tutorials, and I've got another video for you guys about emulators. I just saw my last emulator how-to video, how to basically get an, a Nintendo DS emulator for your Mac OS X computer. It was called Desumi, Emula basically your DS emulator, and I said in the video that you could get Game Boy Advance games to work on it. I was, I apologize, guys, I was mistaken. You cannot actually run Game Boy Advance games, Game Boy Color, or Game Boy games on the DS Desumi emulator for Mac OS X. As you see here, I'll show you guys right now. I'm on open Desumi right now. As you see here, this is the emulator. And I'll open a ROM. And as you see, I can't open a .gba file, which I'm trying to open Pokemon Leaf Green, which I cannot. So I'm sorry, guys, that I said that. I should I should, I should, have looked at that more carefully when I didn't. Uh, I was focused on getting you guys a DS emulator, not basically a Game Boy Advanced emulator. But here I am making a video to make up for it. So... It's called Visual Boy Advanced. As you see here, that this Game Boy emulator will actually open up the GBA files. As you see, this runs Pokemon very smoothly. And it actually is a great emulator, so let me go ahead and pause it. So, this is called Visual Boy Advanced Emulator, VBA. And I'll show you guys about it. It's called Visual Boy Advanced, this is the icon, and it's for Mac OS X. So, the original version was pretty much forgotten. But this is this version is 1.7.5. All right, guys, 1.7.5. The version that everyone has been getting on their Mac OS X is called version 1.7.4, which 1.7.4 does not work on Mac OS X 10.7 and above. As you see here, I am running a Mac computer that has 10.7.3 right here, Mac OS X. And pretty much where everyone is sent to to download this emulator, Visual Boy Advanced. Yes, this is a real emulator, and this is this does work on computers. It did work on Mac, but now it doesn't work because Mac OS X has been updated. The Visual Boy Advanced 1.7.4 has not been updated at all to work on Mac 10.7 since February 2004, as you see right here. This is when it was that it's been up. Everyone's getting redirected to when they fi try and find an emulator for Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy games. They go to the emulator zone. As you see, this is the emulator zone website, and I'm under Macintosh emulators. This is only for Macintosh emulators, guys. I'm not doing Windows. I'll do Windows another time. I run a Windows laptop. I'll run it on that probably sometime when I'm bored in class. But this is just for Mac, guys. So as you see here, I have down I'm gonna download Visual Boy Advance 1.7.4 for you guys real quick. Just to show you guys what it does. So go ahead and open it and open up the DMG file. You got actually you guys don't have to follow this right now. I'm just showing you guys what happens when you download this simulator. This emulator does not work. As you see here, it cannot work. There's a reason there's a, a cross between it. You cannot run it because the new Macs and the new OS does not have PowerPC. PowerPC applications are no longer supported in the Mac OS X. So having that said, I'll show you guys. This is 1.7.4 of Visual Boy Advanced. So do not download 1.7.4 from your emulator zone or any emulator website because 1.7.4 will not work on Macs, Mac OS X 10.7 and above. I cannot stress that enough, you guys. Also, Boycott Advance, version 0.3.6. Don't even worry about Boycott Advance. Boycott Advance, it's it's okay, but it's not the best. Visual Boy Advance is by far the best one that I've used so far, and it has great quality to the videos, and it's very fast. When, if you want to do screen recordings like I do, I just saw that I recorded, um, I had uh, some gameplay video for you guys. I'll put one of the gameplay videos in the description below, so if you guys want to go check that out, you can. But... Visual Boy Advance is by far the best emulator. As you saw in the beginning, I showed you, you guys the quality of it. Just from not even full screen or bigger screen, but it actually works pretty good. So Visual Boy Advanced. I am giving you guys Visual Boy Advance 1.7.5. This is an updated version of the one that you guys are getting. So pretty much I downloaded I downloaded it from another website. I got a tutorial somewhere on how to get this version. But I'm not sure where I got it. Uh, I do not know the original source. I completely forget where I got it from. So I'll show you guys where I, where I uh, keep it. I keep it in my ROMs folder. So as you see, I have Visual Boy Advance 1.7.5. I'll show you guys a README. So there you go. This is the official README for, the, for it. 
I did not create the software. I don't own the rights to the software. Whoever created it, they own the rights. Uh, I didn't. So, as you see, this one does not have a cross through it. I am able to run this one on my computer very much fine. Very fine. So, like I said, in the beginning, 1.7.4, don't even bother following the instructions on downloading that. Don't even download that. I'm not even linking you guys to the emulator zone because emulator zone, I'm not even... You don't need it. You don't need that Mac emulator. It doesn't work. Don't even worry about it. So, what I'm going to do, I uploaded this. I uploaded the zip file to Mediafire. I'm giving you guys the Mediafire link to download Visual Boy Advance 1.745. It's completely safe. I uploaded it and I'm running it myself. So, download it. It's only a megabyte big, so it's not that big of a download it's not you know like run your internet down or anything like that but it will run your gba files as you see here if i right click and open with i open with visual boy events so i'll go ahead and show you guys Ooh, my media fire this is media fire as you see here download visual boy events 1.7.5 zip it's on media fire this link right here will be in the description below so what you want to do is download it and it will go to your downloads do it you have Safari, I mean, yeah, if you have Safari, it'll go right here. If you have uh, Mozilla Firefox, it'll open, open up your downloads window. And as you see here, when you when it's downloaded, it'll automatically open the zip file and pretty much put it in a in a uh, folder for you guys. It'll open up the folder from the zip file. I did not put it in a DMG file because I'm. it's not worth putting in a DMG file. The zip files work just as fine. So what you want to do is move this folder to anywhere, like your desktop, uh, your ROMs folder, your emulators folder, wherever you keep your ROMs or wherever you keep your stuff organized. I recommend not putting this in the applications folder. And the only reason I say that is because some people have said they've had problems with 1.7.5 saving files when it's in applications folder because application folders restrict some of the rights on the on the uh, emulators. Well, this emulator. But I recommend don't putting it in there. Just put leave it in the leave the application in the folder. Or leave the folder there and just drag Visual Boy Events into your dock like I did. This is that's exactly what I did. I did not drag it in my, in my applications folder. As you see here, my applications not in there at all. Destiny's in there because Destiny, I, Destiny doesn't have problems with me. But this is 1.7.5. Uh, links in the description, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm sorry about the Destiny tutorial. Hope you guys forgive me for that and continue to watch my videos. I will continue to do more emulator videos, more gameplay videos for you guys to come up soon. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a fantastic day.